I'm fine. Okay. I assume Cuddy told you that she dumped me. She did. And that I'm back on Vicodin. She told me you had taken a Vicodin. And then I took a lot more. And so on. But you're fine. Well, I'm not fine as in fine, but I'm fine as in you don't have to worry about me. Because you cleared out your bank account, checked into a hotel, and started back on Vicodin. Because I'm going to be fine as in fine very soon. Until that happens, are you sure Vicodin is this? My leg hurts. You've been able to handle the pain. It's gotten worse. Not physically worse. Worse is worse. Pain doesn't discriminate, neither do the pills. The Vicodin and the five-star pampering that I'm gonna get over the next few days should be enough to get me through it. So you don't wanna just avoid the issue, you wanna avoid avoiding the issue, sorry. Nothing is either as bad or as good as we think it is at the time. That's why T.O. mocks his opponents immediately after scoring. He doesn't wait till his friend shows up the next day to tell him to deal with it. Two weeks from now, maybe a little more, maybe a little less, my life will be back to its usual level of crappiness. Till then, the only real issue is how much I'm gonna spend on hotel charges. Good morning, sir. I've got your deluxe breakfast for two. Do I have to count the strawberries? <laughs> Don't worry. You can trust me with anything, including your food. After he and I have sex, I'm gonna slit his throat and then disembowel him in the bathtub. Oh, no problem. I'll cancel the morning maid service. Would you like me to have them clean up later when they come to turn down your bed? and I meet you six months ago. <laughs> Thank you very much. And if there's anything else I can do to make your stay here more enjoyable, just ring the concierge and ask for car now. Eat fast. We're expecting company. Okay, this might not be such a bad idea. What do you think you meant by anything? Take some time for yourself, relax. Hey, I know it's a figure of speech, but he really did seem to underline the anything. Maybe talk to someone? Already scheduled. Really? I'm not an idiot. I know I need help. Okay, that's great. I meant like a counselor. I know. But you meant a hooker. Yeah. Baby steps. <sighs> you knew he was an addict before you got involved. Didn't end the relationship. You knew he was an ass. I didn't you. end it. You because... told him you did not want him to change. And I was wrong. You don't know that. You thought you were gonna die. Do you really think that was the right time to make this kind of decision? No. But I've thought about it a lot. I haven't changed my mind. He thought you were gonna die. Nobody knows the right way to react in that situation. Just give him another chance. He deserves it. I know. But this isn't about what he deserves. When things go wrong, I don't want to hope that I'm not alone. I wanna know it. With House, every time I needed him to step up, it's just never gonna be that. It's not his fault, it's who he is. I should have known it. This is my fault. Well, he's back on Vicodin, so you might wanna keep an eye on his new patient. Please don't! That is a nice bow. That was a nice door. Put it on my tab. Say we take it up a notch. <laughs> yeah, right, very funny. Well, you don't trust me? No! I'll do it. And we have a gamer. Oh, come on, man. You can't be serious. Why not? If anything goes wrong, just take her to the doctor. I'm only eight paces away. Okay. How? I like you, Carnell. Don't ruin it. Sticky feet could point to diabetes. Athlete's foot or gangrene. Pick one. No. 
Uh, none. None of those cause bloody sputum or disappearing masses. No, 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 no! You're gonna kill her. Don't do that, Carnell. I get the idea that I'm shooting at a hooker. Fungal infection cause ulceration between the toes. Bleeding could be from recurring abscesses that appear to be recurring masses. Symptoms in the head or feet mean the infection would have to be in the heart or the brain. I say we start by looking in the heart because looking at his brain with a metal plate is problematic. So is MRIing his heart. He's got a seven centimeter conductive metal rod holding his rib together. It'll rip him in two. No, I would just feel like it's ripping him in two, which is much better. We could minimize the damage by injecting ice water into his abdominal cavity. No, please, no. Oh, oh God! Oops. Gotta go. Call an ambulance. Why? What do you mean, why? She's hurt. She's look hurt. No, you didn't. Yes, we did. <laughs> You're an ass. Okay, go get me uh, General Patton's Colt 45. The one with the two notches. He's not getting you a gun. Your friend knows how to have a good time. <laughs> you were bored. You must have spent about two days setting up a fake murder, and you were bored. I'm fine. You're not. And I'm worried you might do something even stupider. Why don't you move back in with me? At least until you get back on track. What an ego. You think you're some sort of emotional paragon you might rock? I'm trying to be a friend. I had the good sense not to marry every woman I fall into bed with. Maybe you should move in with me. Either way, if you prefer. I prefer you to stop talking about this. House, we haven't even started talking about this, except to establish the fact that you're fine, which clearly you are. Leave me alone! No. We are gonna talk about this, and we're gonna deal with this. But I have no choice. Fine. Unless. Unless, yes, I do. I do have legs. I see you didn't factor those into your brilliant plan. <laughs>